Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins for a place you know that you can trust. Well, what's up guys, Kurtz here, and welcome to an individual informed player review. Now, we haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done player reviews in quite some time, and I miss them. I really enjoyed doing player reviews, just going out, picking a player, building a team around him, and just having some fun with him. So, today, we have gone for the informed Salomon Kalu. He was informed, I believe, the week before last, so I'm a little bit behind on it, but still, uh, I really wanted to try him. I thought those stats looked absolutely awesome. I thought he was going to be really, really good. So, as always, we're going to look at his stats. The team I used him in some gameplay, and I'll give you more opinions on him then so let's get straight stuck in with some stats about him so obviously his name is Salomon Kalou. He's a striker. His original card is a right wing, I believe. Uh, but this case is informed as a striker because that's obviously where he played in the game. We got the inform. He's from the Ivory Coast. He plays for Los Lille in a Liga One. He's six foot one in height and he costs around thirty two thousand coins on the Xbox three sixty, a decent price. In terms of some of his more outstanding uh, in game stats, he has eighty six acceleration, eighty four finishing, ninety dribbling, eighty eight shot power, eighty eight ball control, three star weak foot, four star skill moves. So he's a bit of a tank. He's kind of got his right wing stats over as a striker as well as some fantastic finishing with 84. This is the team I used him in. He was getting full nine chemistry uh, and it was a very, very good team around him. One of the notes to po uh, pull out is there's a lot of players to score goals. You've got Ibra, you've got Ronaldo, you've got Lucas, you've got Matuidi, Petroy, but all these players are banging in goals. So uh, he doesn't really get as many chances as he, as he could in a different formation. But uh, nonetheless, uh, here's my opinion of him. So I played, let me just get the stats up now. Here we go. Right, I played 12 games with him and scored 11 goals. Now, in a team where there's loads of competition, that's... That's alright, I guess, nearly a goal a game, but I felt like he could have been doing better. There were so many chances where he could have done better. It seems so hard to get the ball to him. Now, one thing I do want to comment on is the fact he has a medium, medium work rate. So, that means that he has a medium attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate. So, he doesn't put all his energy into attacking, doesn't put all his energy into defending, but he will come back, which meant I wanted to be playing free balls to him because he got decent pace, was never there. He, he just seemed, occasionally he'd get up for it, but more often than not, he wouldn't be in the the right positions needed. Now, he has a fantastic chip. As you see here, I scored a lot of chip goals with him. So that is one thing. He's fantastic at chips. His uh, his general finesse is great as well. Uh, his pace, when you get a chance to use it, is absolutely brilliant. But more often than not, he wouldn't be in the positions where you could use it, which is so frustrating. Uh, his penalties were all right. I mean, there's not really a lot to say about penalties. You either score them or you don't. That's more down to you. Uh, here, absolutely fantastic job to actually like peel off the player and uh, get himself through. And just more chip goals. I scored Scored so many chip goals with him it, that like that is definitely one of his better better attributes. Uh, as I said, his dribbling is fantastic too. It does help like four star skills. As you all know, I love four star skills in a striker, and he does a great job with that. Uh, so he will quite often be able to like burn a player with like a chop or a, uh, like a rainbow flick or a Berber spin, and then absolutely leg it into the into the space with his pace. So that's pretty useful to have. He won me so many penalties as well when I get one on one with a goalie. Most of the ones that he took, well, I think all the ones he took he also uh, scored and there was a couple that I gave to other players too um so basically when I'd get one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, I'd knock it past him with the big touch and he'd be able to uh, get the penalty nine times out of ten. But we are coming up towards the end of this episode now and I kind of need to give you a verdict. Should you buy him? Should you not? I'm going to say uh, if you really, really need a striker that uh, plays in Liga 1, then you can pick him up. But if you don't care about the fact of being informed, just go and pick up Loic Remy. Far better job of every single thing. And that right there means it's the end of this episode. So if you guys could leave a like, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If we could get to 350 likes, that'd be amazing. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. On the left, you can click to see the latest upload to this channel, which is the Swansea City career mode. And on the right, you can go and check out my Sim City Let's Play. We're two episodes in, hoping to upload a third one today. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.